Hey guys, Rhino here. Welcome back to BeamNG Drive. A little bit more banger racing here today, and up front, the only new car for this round. The Mirama Backrunner, which has as many gears backwards as it does forwards for some reason, has a lot of body roll and thin wheels as well, so this is not going to be the best handling car in the world. In second place, the Barstow, new front end, new side pipes, so this a uh, rally version of the Barstow. Third place, the 400EX, followed then by the car that needs to win. The Legrand Ericoub FH Race, and at the back, a car you wouldn't lose in the dark. The Sunburst CJD. Let's set all the cars off now, same rules as ever apply, slowest car at the front, fastest at the back. Two laps on this road Atlanta circuit, this time going the normal way. If the car that needs to win doesn't, it will be out, along with any cars that DNF or get lapped. If every car finishes in an order that would get through, then the car in last place will be the one that's out. So there'll be at least one new car for the next round. Like, everything's already getting well, well these two at the back are getting well acquainted already. It was in, and now they're so on the brake, they're trying to slow down, but you can. I mean, the Eric, interesting tactics, it needs to do something to try and hold itself in the wind, because the sunburst... It does have about 40 mile an hour top end speed extra, but like the Aerocube, it's pretty terrible through the lower gears. And I'm also recording this through uh, uh, window screen mode instead of game screen mode because once again, being decided doesn't want to be recorded properly. And it's going to be into the wall. That's hard into the wall actually for the Marama. Although I think it looked worse than it is because it's an old car. And now contact beam. Oh, okay. The Barstow has become a uh, compact. Now, is anything else that was getting shoved? Is like the Barstow's going to go around? Yes, it is. Uh, is it going to avoid anything? Is it going to bounce back onto the road in front of the sunburst? It's going to be close. It's going to be close to contact. Ooh, just missed. Now the front two. Actually, the radiator appears to have gone now then on the Aerocoupe. I don't know how quickly this thing overheats, if it does at all. Overheat. The Brownmar's going the right way. The Barstow is also going still the right way. And then there's a, there's, a, there's a lot of moving on. Good, there's, no, there's no racing etiquette. There was a lot of movement there under braking. I don't know how much of it was car control and how much of it was trying to defend. I definitely think it was going to be a bit of both in there. And now the sunburst. Well, he's got. I don't actually think he's got any damage, you know. So that thing is definitely the car in the best condition. But it's also not leading the race, which is. Well, it doesn't actually need to win. It's going to get three if it doesn't win, but if it wants to have any chance of taking out the Air Coupe, which is a car that has a definite pace advantage over, it might want to think about doing that pretty soon. This thing, the drive. Well, the fuel tank. Is that the fuel tank? I think the back of the fuel tank is dragging on the floor, so I don't think that thing's going to last much longer anyway. And the EXO got that good. Uh, good. Um, can't think of the way I'm looking. It's good through the corners. So it's pretty agile, it seems. Yeah, got that good cornering speed. Although one of the lights has gone. Does the other front light still work? Yes, it does. Not that it actually matters to anything. And somehow it's actually pulling away a little bit. Maybe the uh, the air cube already starting to feel the effects of having radiator gone. Radiator gone. I mean, it depends on how big the leak is. If it's a little one, it might actually get around the two laps. If it's a massive one, it's going to run out of fluid fairly soon. And then to the next corner, can the uh, ES get it stopped? No, it can't. It's sliding. Oh, it gets a little bit of a slide though, but it manages to catch it. Although it gets a pull on though off of the curbs. And the risk factors, not too much different between them. These two do both have the highest risk factors in this round of 0.7 and 0.73 for the Aero Coupe. So the Aero Coupe, in that respect, does have an advantage. And you can, you can definitely tell through the slice piece of the Sunburst really isn't doing a whole lot. Then again, neither of the two cars in the back. Now, how is the Barstow going to do? With the shape that it is, is it going to get stopped into this corner, which is causing a lot of problems for a lot of cars? And no, that's round. With, but with the shape that it is, I'm really not surprised. And he can just keep himself out of the gravel? Just about. That should be a fairly quick recovery for that car. But then again, it's an AI controlling it. It ain't going to be quick, let's be honest. The EXO doing a perfect, perfect defensive drive. I mean, that thing, obviously, is easy yet to win around. And the mid place cars, I mean, never really expect them to be the ones to win. What is the Barstow doing? Does it turn? It's going to turn into the uh, Marama, which lets to stop that from happening before it does. And get it f turned back around the other way. Put a little bit of power down. And I'll put it back uh, onto a random control. Maybe, has, the, has, has it run out of fuel? No, it's actually going again, okay. The 
Yeah, it doesn't actually have to worry about overheating. I mean, you've got batteries, and batteries can overheat. But I don't think that is a programmable, well, current th feature in Beam. So obviously the normal cars will overheat. That thing doesn't have an advantage in that way. Though the battery pack is at the back, so I'm guessing it could fall out still. I mean, maybe although when an engine falls out of the car, the lights usually stay on, so... I think that thing might have a slight invincibility, like, mode attached to it, although... That's, that wheel looks at an a, a, a interesting angle, but things just the way it went over the curb. Things are alright though, actually. Now around the second to last corner, it's still the EX now that's going to lead the way on Slab 2, taking a very defensive line. I mean, the Aero Cube 3 here, is, there's, there really isn't anything like it's going to be able to do. And if we can't push it out of the way down the next straight, it's going to have to hope that it spins out, but it needs to keep closer through there. Or give it a shove into the final corner, that works! Uh, it gets another shove again, and now it's going to send it around now, can, the, uh, can it hold it itself in the way, try and do as much damage as possible, try and take it out even! Now, that, that could allow the Sunburst to come through. If the Sunburst wins, that's, that's okay as well. And then Sunburst coming around the final corner, and now then the EX gives it a bit of a push. And now then the Sunburst coming through, is it coming through the air control, it gets off back on the line, and the three of them make contact. The, 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 now they're both are shoving the Aero Coupe along. Now, so that, I, I, I don't see any way the Aero Coupe is going to manage to get itself out of this situation. Being in the lead of the race still. Now then, this side, the EX is going to try and get its way through, which it does. I know. That, oh, oh, hang on. <laughs> the sunburst, the sunburst is ramped. The sunburst is currently airborne. It is ramping over. Let me let me get this slowed down. The sunburst is ramping. It is flipped. We've had our first four-wheel car flip. Uh, let's turn the engine off. Actually, if I have access, I can just reset it. So um. Let me put it on disabled for a sec. You know what? That's not actually doing anything either. Let's put it on stopping and then the counter like 15 or 20. Uh, then I'll let it go again. How's the arrow coupe doing? Is that going in the correct way? Let's gamble with it. Yes, it is. That's all going the correct way again. Okay, now I'll get this thing about going again. Although you have to figure it out by yourself, which shouldn't be too difficult from there. Uh, that is a lucky break though for the uh, the Aero Cube. That takes out one of the cars. I mean, well, who knows? The, the Sunburst might actually be in a better condition now than what it would have been when it was upside down. And with everything that's gone on, the back two cars aren't even that far behind. And into the braking zone. Can it get itself stopped? No, it locks the rears again and is going around again. It's going to hit the wheel on the curb though, but it gets away with it from that angle. The EX though has a big lead now though. It has a big lead over the Aero Coupe. But it's did its best, we did what it needed to do to try and shove it out of the way. And yeah, this thing is definitely overheating now. When once you start getting that smoke coming out of the back of it, that is basically the uh, the sign for not long for this world for much longer. Now then, the uh, Sunburst is just going to have to chill in third place for this round. Had a chance to try and take it out, but then again, it um, took itself out in the process of that. And the Marama, I mean, that thing's overheating as well, where the thing is so slow. With a slight, with a small engine anyway, so I don't really think that thing's going to go out from overheating. It's just about, can it keep itself in fourth place? Because the Barsto, although it keeps spinning everywhere, it's still a quicker car. So it is going to be catching. And on the uh, test runs, I did try and get a gap between the cars. The Barsto is so much quicker than the Marama. Even, has it, even in, you know, in acceleration, top in speed. Not in reverse though, because the Miramar are having a load of gears, but not that they actually matter in this race. And then is the EX going to hold itself into this braking zone? This could be the make or break thing, can he get around this corner? Taking it nice and slow, getting a little bit of a wiggle on though. He managed to start it breaking the mid corner again, it doesn't matter, it's in the lead, it's doing exactly what it needs to do. And the Aero Coupe needs a miracle, it needs to be catching it up. Which, I mean, it's going to be catching. But through this parallel, this is where the EX has the advantage anyway, so I'm not really seeing anything that it can do. New test braking zone, a bit of a uh, wide angle. Oh, it spun it again. It is it spun. Has it got suspension damage? Or a tyre issue? Maybe. I mean, the damage, maybe it's just lost it on its own fluids. It's having issues in reverse, which isn't really a surprise. The Barsto comes sliding in. And then there it goes. Now, now it finds reverse. Now it gets out of the way of the Barsto. Then it finds a reverse gear and gets itself back going again. 
the EX, uh, the EX is still looking good. It's the nine round, it's the streak about to come to an end for this car, for the Aero Coupe. You know, I think it might well be. I think it's finally time that we're going to lose this car for the next round. Still got a little bit of a lot left to go though, but it's still nowhere near catching. And the Ramal though, it is struggling. Although there's still plenty of chances left for this, for this uh, thing to spin out again, so you never know, could actually still, uh, still get his way through. And he does have a lifeline though, with the Aerocoupe not winning. If that doesn't win, the Marama, or whatever's in last, depending if it actually finishes the round, it gets a lifeline, it gets through. So th these two just need to make it round. But well, the you still don't want to be in last place, should the EX somehow just randomly combust or something. Once again, the boss die last round again. Now, how much time is it going to waste this time? Now, it's actually going to do a little bit of a kind of like J-turn. Now, it can get itself going again. Let's go pause out. Where's the EX at? It got a little bit of time yet. Get back on board then with the Barso. Is that going to go the correct way? No, it isn't. Pull the handbrake, get it turned round. Put the power down, and it can figure it out from there. How far behind those are the Marama? It's right here with it. Is it going to make the move? Is it going to make the move? It's going to make contact. It's going to make heavy contact. It's going to barge its way through up the inside line. Let's get on board, though, with the car that's going to win, though. And coming up to the line, it's been here long enough as well. The EX, this 400 EX, first electric car win. I mean, you can still do electric car in the series, so that doesn't matter. And it's going to pull up fairly soon. It's still going quite a way, though. As the, uh, still making around, still going. But probably not going for much longer, though. The Valiant effort, it did what it could. It did what it could. It tried its best to keep itself in the next round. But it just wasn't to be. And then Marama's going around again. There's going to be more contact. No, the Marama. These, these cars aren't going to know it, though. But the Marama gets sent back around once again. He now finds himself once again back in last place. Let's get on, on board, though, though, with the uh, the Sunburst, which had it lucky. I mean, you never know. That, that flip could have been more crippled with it. So I quite possibly it might have ended up saving this guy. You never know. But, I mean, these things happen sometimes. Around the final corner though, the sun burst in pristine condition because it got a uh, mid-round reset. As I meant to tell the engine off, I pressed the wrong button. And over the line, third place, it has a new car in front of it for the next round. Uh, back on board with these two, how is the hood still, I mean, because it opens the other way, like, old, like it does on most old cars, so... How are the wheels still okay though, with the amount of abuse the thing's taken? How is the fuel tank still going on this thing? If you look at it, that is the fuel tank dragging on the floor. Yeah, so all it's going to take is one bad catch of a curb or something. And that is going to be... Well, again, it depends on the fuel leak. I mean, they all start with, with a full tank, so... They do go for a while before running out. Let's get on the uh, cinematic camera, though. Now, if these things just make it over the line, then they are both going to be safe into the next round. Those taking it pretty chill, though. I mean, 80 mile an hour. Is still is this thing even going to get itself stopped with the amount of spins it's been having? Can it even get itself stopped now into the second to last corner? We have a lock on that once again. Is it going to go round again? Yes, it is. It's round. It is round again. Now, how far behind, though, is the Marama? Although, it's going to be a quick recovery, though, for this thing this time. And it is a quick recovery. The Marimar, though, is still not even in camera shots, so... Pretty sure this thing is going to be safe. How far behind? Can you even see it yet? No, because we need to show now. That just shows the uh, speed difference between these two cars. But because the Aerocube didn't win, it is the car that is out of the next round. Not that they're still going to know it, though, at this point. Now, coming up to the line, P4 for the Barso, which, in the shape that it is, I don't even know how this thing really even survived. Although now then, is there finally going to be contact with the Sunburst? 
did it even touch? No, he didn't. The sunburst is still pristine. The sunburst is still, 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 still in pristine condition, which is definitely the same. Definitely can't be said though for the Marama, but it makes it through very luckily. I mean, is that going to have any contact at the end? Well, it would have done if it wasn't uh, damaged the way it was. So the new car to look out for, the third place car, the 400EX. Definitely not a car which I would expect to take the win. Made the most of his track position and the lucky reset, but you got to take the chances when they come. So remember to leave a like if you enjoyed. Leave a comment down below what you thought about this race as well. Remember to subscribe if you didn't hit the notification bell. So out in the future videos. If you can be follow on Twitter and Instagram, that'd be much appreciated. They'll be linked in the description down below. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you all next time.